video is up audio is up as well everything is perfect hello guys welcome to my latest youtube video hope you're doing amazing and you're managing to stay safe in this pretty shitty time so yeah hope you're doing amazing uh what i want to show you today is how to potentially fix the issue that the latest update caused not just for me but for quite a big number of people at least from what i've heard and seen so i'm gonna try to make this video super short super self-explanatory i'm gonna walk you through a few steps that are necessary to fix this issue and a few steps that i would highly recommend you to do that might or might have been linked to this problem but i would just recommend recommend you to do them anyways so basically one thing like two disclaimers before we before i show you the examples of this problem and before i before i show you how to fix it first thing is uh it was really hard for me to actually pull and show all these all of these stutters on video because i stream in the 60 fps but i played the game itself in roughly 200 ish so you guys are only seeing like one fourth of the frames i'm seeing and there was a lot of times where I'm stuttering like crazy in game, like it's it's low key and unplayable for me. But stream looks buttery smooth. I go in VOD, I cannot see fucking shit. Like everything is super smooth. So that was the problem. And the second disclaimer, uh, fixing this is gonna take you roughly half an hour up to one hour, depending how how skilled you are and. Uh, how much time is gonna take your PC to install some, some drivers, that's it. So, let's show the examples and let's fix it, I guess. See you in a few minutes. So, Mendes will just try to change the board. I mean, I like Gigabyte. But well, they know that they have quality issues sometimes, you know? Oh, oh, skip, frame skip. Skip. Frame skip. Yeah, uh, but it was like, literally on your end. You literally, your body came back and came in front again. Yeah, uh, but it was like, literally on your end. You literally, your body came back and came in front again. Really? Yeah, you don't want to see what happened on the side. I, I want to fucking like, see, like, just clip it or something. Yeah. Can somebody clip it? Dylan, can you clip it? Or, or Mihalis? Just to see how the body just glitched out a little bit. Came back and front. Or am I just sleeping and dreaming that actually happened? Because I was quite, quite uh, on it. Quite on it. And then the body just pulled back and came, came in front again. Shit glitched out big time. Oh, that could be here as well. <sighs> Isn't it a fucking amazing game? The best game ever created. It is. Battlefield is amazing. It is how it is. <laughs> so, basically, uh, hopefully you got the idea what, uh, what I was talking about. And uh, as I promised, I'm going to show you the, the, the way to fix it. So, I made this folder here, these are gonna be the optional, and these are gonna be the steps. So, program files, program data, copy, press window, op, windows plus R, it's gonna open you this window, paste, op, sorry, there is this like minus here. Uh, okay, open that, delete everything except local content. So you basically select everything like this, holding the shift, you press delete, simple as that now i didn't delete it because after i did all this other stuff it worked out but after searching a bit on the internet uh some people said that this other thing didn't work for them so they had to do this as well but for me personally i wasn't required to do this but again i had no idea how it's gonna work out for you so hopefully what i provide you with is gonna be enough to fix it so press delete delete it, all safe origin is gonna install some some new stuff install install some 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 updates by itself it's gonna precare some stuff all good to go but i can't redo it right now because i really want to start a stream in about half an hour from now so wanna try to wait temp 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 folder it's gonna be some files here select them all delete them simple as that percentage temp percentage run tube delete them 
Now I have Discord and Premiere open and I'm recording to OBS, so basically delete everything from there. Uh, Battle for 5 cash, this is the this is the destination. So you go documents, Battle for 5, Twinklo, Temp, HTTP cash, you open that, select all, delete. I have done it, you can see the date, it's the 1st of the December, delete that, simple as that. I personally didn't need to like preload all the maps again, like it was used to happen sometime before like when you reinstall the game, this time it wasn't required, so I don't know, you might have to, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, repair game, you basically go origin, origin, toop, settings, game proper, uh, sorry, settings, repair game, you sit here, press that, it's gonna repair your game, install some files that may, may be corrupt, so, now with the optional settings, you're gonna type in msconfig, this is gonna pop up, you're gonna go boot, save boot, apply, okay, you're gonna restart in safe mode. I'm not gonna do it right now because I really want to show you all the stuff. Okay. So after you're done with that, you're gonna download the program called DDU. I'm gonna provide all the links in the in the in the description. DDU, you're gonna launch it. Okay. As you can see, it's it's notifying me that I'm not in a safe mode. So options. Try to copy this. Most important part here: prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update. Make sure to check that so that Windows doesn't install some updates for you. That's all I have to say. Select device type, GPU. It's manually gonna recognize the GPU you have. Clean and restart. It's gonna automatically clean the drivers, clean the driver, restart your PC back into a safe mode. After you're back into a safe mode, you basically type in msconfig. You basically go boot. You're gonna uncheck this like I did right now, and you're gonna boot into standard Windows. After you're done with that. You're gonna run the Envy Clean install. It's basically a program uh, that is used for installing the clean drivers of of Nvidia. Now, if you have the if you have the AMD card, I'm not really sure which program you can use. Uh, I'm gonna direct you. I'm gonna redirect you after this video to Freddy. I'm pretty sure he has. I'm pretty sure he might actually come with a backup. You know, like uh, make a video about this about this himself. Might might not. I don't really know. But he definitely has a lot of really good videos on his channel that even myself have watched him from time to time. There is always stuff you can learn. Doesn't matter how much you know. Show all versions. Okay, that works. Select. So this is the latest driver. I rolled back to 456.71. Make sure not to download the one with the, that he has the DCH prefix here. Avoid that one. Install this one. You're gonna go next. Okay. So, if you do not record your gameplay, just keep it like this, alright? So, this is all the unnecessary stuff, I mean, unnecessary stuff. You might you might need them for some of the stuff that you're doing, you might not. I don't really know what you're using your PC for. But, let's see, you're just gaming. This is all you need. This play driver, literally. Let's see, you wanna record the gameplay, you wanna go shadow play, you wanna go next, it's gonna install, and you're gonna go next. I'm gonna go, not gonna press go next because it's gonna start installing the driver. So, that's it, you're gonna just basically go next, you're gonna figure it out yourself, super easy, on a box to check, perform clean install and disable telemetry and simple as that. If you press next, next it's gonna install the, install the driver for you, it's gonna be super fast, restart your PC, back into the windows, after you're back into the windows, open Nvidia control panel, and these are the settings I would recommend you to use. This is basically prioritizing performance, and the difference, like, in looks of the game, just by changing the NVIDIA counter panel, super minimal. I can't even notice them in some games. But the performance can be, for my system, about 10 FPS. So, why not? Basically, screenshot this. Put the same settings in your NVIDIA counter panel. And this is the, the, the bottom part of it. Okay. Let's, let's assume you screenshot everything from, at this point. Disable full screen optimization. You basically go in a, in a game settings. Game file, sorry. So, program files, origin games, battle for five, right click, properties, compatibility. See? So, change things for all users. This is gonna be unchecked like this, okay? So, let's say this is what you see when you open it. You're gonna go change high DPI settings. Alright, high DPI scaling behaviors, scaling performed by. 
specifications. DCI full screen optimization, apply, apply. This should be now checked here as well. Just in case something is fucking around with your user account, I don't really know. That's done. Last thing, user config. I'm gonna provide a user config for, for, for NVIDIA cards and for the AMD cards. There is one option called CST Lite Path Enable, which puts you like with a black screen for, for AMD cards. Now I'm gonna provide a link to use it for the AMD cards, for the NVIDIA cards. And uh, the one that is being used for AMD cards, the only difference is, is that um, you don't get this weird lighting. And the command that is causing it is specifically called CST light path enable and you put the value zero. Uh, that's basically used to remove the temporal anti-lacing. I personally like do not see any difference like in performance when I put the motion on 1% to the to disable temporal anti-lacing. So you're gonna try it for yourself, see how it works. You can basically, like I said, use the use the config, still get the benefits of all of this stuff to increase a bit of FPS, to get a bit nicer feeling under your mouse. Basically, change the the max value of FPS to whatever you want. I just keep it 500. Don't really like putting it on zero because some people say you get input lag. Now, if I put it on a fucking zero, I'm gonna get myself in a placebo effect. I'm gonna trip that there is a, a fucking input lag, then I won't be able to play. So I'm just gonna put it on 500. Okay, that's the whole reason. Draw FPS, gonna draw FPS. The FPS display scale is basically how big the FPS counter is gonna be, and just copy all this stuff. As I said, I'm gonna provide the link for the NVIDIA compatible config and for the AMD compatible config. So. That's about it guys, hopefully this is gonna fix the issue for you, if it did, leave a like, drop a comment, if it didn't, feel free to drop a dislike, I don't know what to tell you guys, so hopefully I can manage to help as much people as I can, and uh, if you have any additional questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section, or stop by on my stream, we, we usually have a lot of hardware and software related uh, conversations going on there, so... Until the next time guys, stay safe in this shitty corona time and have a nice day.